Hey, this is Yoni from Waves. We're coming at you live from NAM 2013. I'm standing here with FOH Dave Aaron, Waves Live artist. Dave, welcome to NAM. How's it going so far? Yeah, it's actually going pretty good. And yet another NAM show. They always got great stuff to look at. And it's always fun here. I see a lot of great friends of mine, old friends. That's the fun part, I think. Yeah, for sure. It's good reconnecting with a lot yeah. of people. So your main gig is uh, doing sound FOH for Snoop Dogg, right? As far as touring, I, I tour with Snoop. I've been doing his live show since 95. It uh, gets me out of the studio and takes me all over the world. And we see some great places. Uh, we just came back from Dubai for New Year's show. And uh, we were in India doing a couple of shows and Thailand. So, uh, you know, people love Snoop everywhere. And uh, it seems to really take us a lot of cool places. It sounds like an amazing gig for yeah, sure. It's very fun. So uh, we were talking a little bit earlier. And you were telling us how you use Vocal Rider in, in a couple different applications. I thought maybe you could tell our viewers a little more about that. Sure. I mean, I did use it this last tour in a traditional sense. You know, I. I enjoyed putting it on Snoop's vocal and just setting the threshold just right and it kept it right where I wanted it. So, you know, because it's changing the actual level itself, uh, you know, it doesn't change the sonic quality of the vocal. And I really enjoy that part of using uh, the vocal rider. It works great for me. It worked great live. Now, have you had a chance to check out any of the new products here? Because, you know, we've gotten into a lot more live-oriented things. As you can see, we have our booth here. Uh, we're sharing with Digico. We've got the release of Digigrid. Um, you know, we'd love to show you some of the new things. I did. I looked at all the Digico uh, boards and how they load them up with the Waves plugins. I, I used that on the last ones. I enjoyed the, the Digico boards. And, um, yeah, that's working out for me really well. And I also use the Wave stuff in the studio, too, when I get back from off a tour. I, uh, you know, go in the studio. I was telling uh, some guys up here about how I like to use the Vocal Rider on other applications, too. I always say, I don't know why they just call it Vocal Rider, because it works great on everything. You know, I like to put it on a, maybe a rhythm guitar, and it keeps it, no matter where he's playing, it keeps it right in that little vein where I want, right in that spot where I want it. Um, a live kick. I use it on live kicks all the time. I like it better than the compressor. It keeps it right above the music where I like it. And, you know, it, it doesn't have that compressed sound where it's killing my low end and everything, too. So, I mean, it's just a great plug-in all around. I also enjoy the C4s a lot. I use I use those on uh, pretty much everything to try to get rid of if there's any harshness or any sort of brittle kind of shrill sound to anything it really tames that for me and uh, I like that a lot I like using it on the low mids too to tame that 500 area that can sometimes really get hard on your ears you know and uh, it seems to do a great job I love the wave stuff live and in the studio wow that's really interesting especially coming from you because I know how important the kick is in the kind of music that you're out there making Dave, thank you so much for uh, coming around, taking the time to talk to us. We hope you have a great NAMM show. You got it. I love Waves, and uh, we'll be going together for a long time in the future.